A reader asks, I have a question about how carbon dating works. Wouldn't it tell you the age of the material used to create the object rather than the object itself? Hi Rick, and thanks for that question. The short answer is yes, and here's why. Radiocarbon dating is used in archaeology to find out the ages of objects that were once living material, like wood, bone, or cloth, that sort of thing, but not stone. The reason is that living material contains a lot of carbon. Plants get their carbon by pulling it out of the air during photosynthesis. Animals get their carbon by eating. But not all carbon is the same. Most of the carbon atoms in the atmosphere are in a form known as carbon-12, but a trace amount, about one part in a trillion, is carbon-14. The difference is that carbon-12 is stable, but carbon-14 is a radioactive isotope that decays over time. So imagine this jar is full of carbon atoms. Most are carbon-12. Those are the white ones, but a few are carbon-14, those are the black ones. When a living plant or animal takes in carbon, it takes in both kinds, and that carbon is constantly being replenished throughout the lifetime of the organism. But now, imagine the plant dies. Now that carbon is no longer being added to, it's just sitting there. So now, a thousand years pass, and a portion of the carbon-14 atoms decays. So we'll just take them away. Just a few of them are gone. Then, another thousand years pass. Again, a portion of the carbon-14 decays, so I can just keep taking these black ones away. And you get the idea, the more time passes, the fewer carbon-14 atoms are left. So as long as you know the rate of decay, you can use this method to determine when the material was last alive. The method is good for things that are up to about 50,000 years old, basically while there's still enough carbon-14 left to count. So while radiocarbon dating can't tell you when an artifact was made, can tell you when the material originated. This doesn't work for a stone statue, though, or a spear point, because stone isn't taking in carbon from the air. Nevertheless, radiocarbon dating has revolutionized archaeology since it was developed in the 1940s, and for that, you can thank Willard Libby, an American chemist who went on to win the Nobel Prize for this timely contribution to our scientific understanding of the past.